Festival Hall on one Friday night a month, many groups here in Red Deer join together to recreate an age-old tradition. So this is our family dance that we're doing and it is a joint project that we're putting together with the City of Red Deer, the Red Deer Arts Council, the Red Deer Culture and Heritage Society. And this is a special one as well because it's also with the Red Deer Native and Friendship Society. Uh, as a fundraiser for the so a Soham project. Music, dancing, food and fun, it's all going towards a great cause. The Soham project is a new housing development opening this spring that will include 32 units of housing under the wing of the Red Deer Native Friendship Society, a project that Executive Director Tanya Schur hopes the whole community will get behind. I think this is an excellent opportunity for Red Deer to celebrate the uniqueness of three Indigenous cultures living together in a good way and and uh, and trying to contribute to the to the community. So it's a great opportunity. We're gonna you were looking forward to having teepees there and lots of opportunities for people to see dancing and enjoy the food as well. So I think it is a unique opportunity. It's an opportunity for Red Deer to really step up and show that, that they are welcoming and inclusive and really beyond that, that we really are about celebrating all of the cultures that make Red Deer their home. This unique and entertaining fundraising opportunity for the impressive housing project is a great opportunity for those not familiar to learn a little bit more about the Métis and First Nations culture. What we've tried to do at all of the dances is kind of feature some of the dances that they've done in the past. Uh, we've done Hilanto polkas, we've done Shatis, we've done the jive lesson. And uh, this one, because we paired up with them, we're doing something that's familiar with the Métis Society and the Métis uh, Natives, and that's uh, Red River Jigging and, and, and uh, Métis Music. And so it's going to be a real treat because a lot of people I don't think know what that even is. No matter your cultural background, family dances are an important piece of every community's past. And thanks to the organizers, this event can continue to be an important piece for Red Deer's present and future. Well, I grew up with family dances all the time when I was a, as a kid out in Rocky Mountain House. And it's something that, you know, I really, really enjoyed, just having the community come together and do dances. And uh, we wanted to give that, that back to the community, something where kids could come. Uh, it's a family-friendly, so non-alcoholic event. And uh, people can just have a good time and visit and dance. I think that all of us remember our grandmothers and our grandfathers telling us stories about the barn dances, about loading up the horse team and driving off to the old barn dance. And for us, this is just a reminder of how it was. You know, this is the story of my grandmother and uh, and my grandfather. So I'm really, I'm really pleased to be here tonight and to share some digging with uh, with the local people. To keep up to date on future family dances, please visit CountryPrideDanceClub.ca. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Chloe Hoffner.